yeah, boom, the sound consumes Get the ill style and this shit go boom, bang Like boomerang slang when we come back Every man, every woman hype on the track Basement freaking, get the shit we speaking Tweaking on the floor, you want more Music is our addiction, get the friction Like a needle to the record, coming with the ick shit Ill shit, fiction, faction, tactics Everybody know it's every man come back quick Okay, so Emily wants to know if I want to record it going in. <laughs> <laughs> you alright guys, is this thing on? You alright? How you doing? Uh, so, uh, so what we're going to do is today is, is that me and Emily are going to cook a roast dinner. Uh, a British roast dinner, but she's bought a load of meat. So I'm just about to go over there to where she works because it closes at 4 because it's Sunday today. Uh, so I'm going to go over there and buy some stuff because she can't get it because the shop will be closed by the time she finishes work. But she gets a good discount where she works. Um, anyway. Well, you know, I'm tired of listening to all this shit, okay? I mean, so much stuff coming around. I mean, god damn. Right, is this thing on? How you doing everybody? Uh, so we're back again at Emily's. Uh, I've got to remember to look in the lens and not the screen. Uh, we are going to be cooking a roast today. So uh, we're going to be doing a gammon steak. Him? Can you hear him? Uh, Emily's actually making, what are you making at the moment, Emily? Emily, Emily, oh my Emily's making the cappuccino. She's made. Oh, she's got undone. well, you got. She got trousers undone. She's got a Tesco top on. I've just got home. She's just got home from work. So she said, "We'll just record." So we're recording. Um, so <laughs> you don't want to know what she's doing. Um, so yeah, we're going to be cooking a um, this. Let's show you. Uh, gammon joint, but not the, not this. We're not going to be cooking this because this oh, will burn. But we're going to no. So we're going to cook this a gammon joint. Take a look at that. So how much was the gammon joint, Emily? Yeah, two for seven pounds. Two of these for seven quid, bruv. Two for seven shoves. So uh, yeah, two of those for seven pounds. So it's not too bad, but uh, the date is kind of going off. So we promised that we would actually cook it, take it out of the freezer, and actually cook it tonight. So we've got that, um, and then we've also got a cappuccino. How is everybody anyway? Um, so I think the first vlog went okay. Um, so I was gonna answer a few questions, answer a few questions. And um, somebody was asking or saying that does this uh, disorder of mine with food stem from childhood? So I've actually been researching a little bit and uh, it does kind of state a lot of the facts of that and when I was a child, when I was young, I listened to the radio. But when I was young, um, I was made to eat all of my food at the dinner table and I was shouted at by my father. My father was very strict. And uh, if I wanted a biscuit, say for afters, I had to finish every last single piece of food on my plate. And it wouldn't even matter whether I was uh, whether I wanted afters or not, okay, I would not be allowed to get down off the table until I'd finished every last single piece of food, and I mean all of it. And I can remember one distinct memory that is locked into this brain of mine uh, that I can always remember of how long that was of one day that I sat at that table and I was made to sit at the dinner table for an hour and a half with not being able to get down to the point where I was literally crying on uh, at the table, crying, and also crying to my mother at the time, like, can I get down, can I get down? But my father wouldn't let me. And he's like, no, I'm telling you, you're eating that food and you're not getting down until you do. Well, obviously an hour and a half had passed, so the food that was on the plate was extremely cold and it was all gooey and everything else, and I really did not want to eat it. But I was not allowed to get down off the dinner table until I'd eaten every last single piece of food on it. And it was basically a bribery of also like you're not going to get, because back then, back then, for our, what we would call afters of what a lot of people say dessert, uh, for afters it was basically two chocolate biscuits and a banana or two chocolate biscuits and an apple. And uh, normally the actual food, obviously when you're a kid and you're that young, those kind of things that you have for a hot meal you don't really want you're really looking for the couple of biscuits and like a piece of fruit so afters was always like a very big kind of thing for me of what i wanted 
all the sweets and everything else. I mean, I couldn't have been very young. I must have been probably six, seven even, but like six, seven, eight, something like that. Really not very old at all. But it is a very big, distinctive um, thing that I can always remember. It's been in my head for a long time, like every time I think of it. You know, I'll you know, the huh? put the grill on the you put the grill on. <laughs> what do you know? And she's going to be cooking my food. <laughs> uh, I like my sound right. Sorry. Um, so anyway, so you know sometimes when, like when you reminisce, okay, when you reminisce and you kind of sit back and you can always remember certain things, like me I can remember back when I was like four, but I can only remember like one instant of when I was four. I can remember nothing else about being four, but I can remember one scenario that happened in my life when I was four. I like probably five or six, but it would be like one thing. It wouldn't be anything else. I wouldn't be able to remember the whole year or anything, but I can always backtrack like a strong memory that was implanted into my head. Now, some of these, they're very trivial. They're not even anything that would be meaningful to the fact that you would remember that, but they are specific things that are in my head and it can be something very stupid and very trivial to anyone else and think why on earth is it the fact that you'd remember that you ain't got muscles prof look at that no he's not muscles i've got bigger muscles than him no you ain't prof not at all <laughs> what are you talking about Todd? Look. <coughs> 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 i tell you what bitch you call this house again your ass getting locked up quick fast than a heartbeat <laughs> That's not a muscle. I'll give you a muscle. Oh. No, I'm in fish and muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Scampy. I'll give you some fish. So we've got last night's leftovers. So when I was saying that, so when I was saying that um, Emily will more than likely not eat all of her Bombay bad boys. Does anybody want to oh, see no, any leftovers? No, 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 any that's any disgusting. Left <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> well, when you're a working career woman like yourself getting up really early and I don't wash up before I go. <laughs> well, do you? You do sometimes. I do sometimes. When you're in the right mood. I do sometimes when I'm in the right mood. If it's mine, I normally wash my own up and then leave Emily to her own, but... Don't I, dear? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, we are going to be cooking. Uh, like I said, we're going to be cooking fish. So, we've got roast potatoes um, or some that I got earlier. Some that I prepared earlier, they're not actually potatoes, they're pre-made roast potatoes that basically you just put in the oven. Show them? So we'll show you. We'll show you. Potatoes! So you got those Aunt, Aunt Bessie's delicious roasts. I forget how much they were. Yeah, some people were uh, they were saying in the comment section that you don't get pop noodle. Jan and another person, uh, the guy, that don't get pop noodles, but you get something else that's noodle. But you don't get pot noodles. You poor souls. Yeah, I no, we, you. we're riddled with pot noodles here. It's a very big thing that a lot of British people have. It's a very good alternative. I mean, you can get ramen and stuff like that, ram. uh, like ramen or like rice noodles, rice like quick, easy packet stuff. But pot noodle is one of those favourites that um, everybody had as a child. Everybody grew up on a pot noodle. Uh, if nobody could be bothered to cook, it would just be, what do you want for tea? Pot noodle. What do you want for dinner? Pot noodle. You know, everybody would eat a pot noodle. So Show got... them my Sephora collection. Oh no, please do not go on about that I bet anymore. there's many people on your channel that probably know Right, we've got a problem. Okay, now just give me a minute, Al. I need to, this, this crazy young motherfucker over here. And Come here, come here, young blood. Didn't I explain it to you? Right, I'm going to go on about this in a second. So this is also what we're having. Stuffing balls. <laughs> okay, 12 sage and onion stuffing balls. So we're going to put that with the roast. So, go on then, because I know you want to talk about it. Seflora. Seflora. It's good. Any of you guys ever heard of Seflora? Please, can I have one of these things? Take your pick. She has got an obsession over this. What, is, what the hell is it? It's, it's flavoured disinfectant. So basically, it's the same shit as bleach. Disinfectant, but it smells like. So it's a disinfectant basically, and you just spray it on the surface and things after you've eaten, you just spray it. So, flora. <laughs> this chip. I have never known anybody to go on about this so much. We actually get into arguments. <laughs> 
honestly, we get into arguments when we go to when we go shopping and we go around what we call a pound but shop. This is where you find like limited editions and the limited random, edition the random shops like pound stretch and stuff like that. They sell they sell random flavors that I've never ever heard of. So like, for Christmas, I've got to go. I've I'm going to be see. getting like 16 of these. They're about a pound each. So, so that's, that's 16 pounds you're going to spend on me. <laughs> yeah, well you love them. Um, but anyway, yeah. So this one is a concentrated. What's the flavour? <laughs> Winter spice. Flavor. Sorry, I was looking at that and I was thinking that it looked like um, it's concentrated star flavor. star of Nice. It's Winter spice. Star right. of Nice. So it's Winter spice. So basically, she just got loads of these, and we get into arguments when we go over to Poundland or uh, M and M's, uh, M B and M's, M and yeah. B and M's. Uh, and a shopping place where they do things that are under a pound or just over a pound or like two pound fifty or something And uh, every time we go in she'll either go to the candle section and spend 25 minutes looking at a candle And I mean each one that we go in and then she'll go, she'll go oh my god, Sephora and, and I have to stand there listening and um, watching her go over all of these when she's got 25 of them in the cupboard anyway So I have an obsession over food and she has an obsession over Sephora the goodness of it, that's why. I literally put it down the shitter as well. It's, it's literally everything, yeah. <laughs> she can never watch this. <laughs> well, I've spent your life that. taking the piss out of me and now you're doing it on YouTube. Ah uh, yeah, but I have a Gemini moon. <laughs> okay, so Emily wants to know if I want to record it going in. What the hell? <laughs> 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 so go on, shove it in the oven. Hold on. Proper cooking program. Have I done it right? What? Oh. Oh. This is where it goes on the floor and we have to get a touch away. Pigs. All of them. Come pig. Come pig. <laughs> Come pig. Pigs. All of them. Pigs. All of them. Come pig. Pig. Come pig. Pigs. All of them. What I got is got the lyrics that are hot and I'm smoking a pot, huh? Freaking in the basement, want more? Rip it every man in my man named George. Freaking, that's right, speaking the Greek. People know we got the speech in the street like Shakespeare. It's so clear that we're bullseyeing. So supplying, you trying, huh? But you can't beat the best, can't test us. So, oh, yeah, we not like the rest. Hmm. Yeah, we not bulletproof vesting, but confessing, no, you don't mess with it. Pigs, all of them. Come big, big. Yeah, boom, the sound consumes. Get the ill style and this shit go boom, bang, like boomerang. Steve is so Steve's so tired he can't speak. Oh, I did it the wrong bit. Really hot in this kitchen. And uh, I've suffered from being really hot. Jesus Christ! That's mine! That's bon what I'm on about! Bon appetit! How come I get the one that's fucked and fell over? Mine was fucked and fell over as well. No. It was, there was both on the side. No, it wasn't, because I bought them. What is going on? Where? <laughs> Have we got a plate or something? You've got like Where's cream the all up your mouth. Just <laughs> <laughs> looking at me as if to say, I'm normal. <laughs> No, you're abnormal. Either. I'm normal. <laughs> like, this is me talking about having a food obsession and I'm fucking. and I'm squirting. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, am I depressed. <laughs> Mama, you've been bad. Nice one, bruv. There you go. There's a diet for you. What the hell? Oh, Good morning. Good morning. Good 
You are my little baby. <laughs> Isn't it? You are my little baby. I want to get up now. Hi, man. Hey, good morning. So he's got my spot. That's funny. Good morning. <laughs> this is the morning time. Oh. This is Emily. Cold. Hey, good morning, Emily. Good morning, Emily. Looks absolutely stunningly gorgeous for the morning. Yep. Oh, it does so, this is us driving Emily to work in the fantastic, exciting place where I live. And it's a pile of poo. But we've got the Christmas lights being put up as well. So, last night you may have seen us uh, doing some cooking, which was the Sunday roast kind of thing. Um, and then we cut off very short because we were really tired by the time we'd finished and I get very tetchy when I'm mm. hot. <laughs> Don't I, Emily? Yes, I'm uh, tired. But when I get hot, uh, I get really tetchy because I can't stand a lot of heat around my face, to be honest. I, I don't know why, but I... I've always loved cold houses. I don't like it when it's really cozy and warm and I can't breathe. It's weird. Oh, can't come in. Lonely in the mornings, work on Oh, I do hate this bit. Oh, we've got a fucking travel around the other parts. This is Steve's driving so, rage. We are going to Uzbekistan, one of these places that you drive to and then away from very quickly. <laughs> you don't go and visit. It's my eight of swords. It's a very nice place to visit, but I definitely wouldn't fucking live there. Um, so yeah, we're going there. I've just picked the thing up. The behind, thing? The thing behind focus. the camera. I the thing that. dating the thing, Stephen King thing. Uh, you obviously don't watch my tarot car channel, Emily. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, so anyway, it's a half moon, is it? Quarter moon. Quarter moon. Quarter moon. I don't know what it's in though, or what moon it is. My video skills are immense. Are they? Does it make me look worse? Fuck, there's an oboe walking. You all right, son? Um, yeah, so we're going to Whiz Beach in order to get a coffee because we like doing this. We're very strange and we are very weird, but we do like to go and uh, go and get a coffee from McDonald's <laughs> and basically just sit in the car park like a bunch of weirdos sitting there drinking expensive, suave McDonald's coffee. So, um, <laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's coffle. Coffle. McDonald's coffle. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. I've got indigestion because I've absolutely fucked up, messed up my eating disorder. What have you done? I've eaten. I want peace. I want to feel calm. I want to feel calm. When you were playing that record, what were you thinking? Reincarnate. When you're playing that record, when you're playing that record, 
Great place to yeah, come. This is it's dodgy as fuck, but we like coffee, so we like coffee. We like coffee. What do you say? What do I say? I say that this is a place that you really don't fucking come <laughs> to, but it has McDonald's. Hey. It's got farm foods, great food, amazing prices, which is actually really good price. Oh shit! Get up there, Nigel. Go on! This is what he does let when he's Let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in! And then we've got B&M's to the left. It's not focusing. So we're going to get the McDonald's. Beat him! Beat him, beat him! So what would you like? So, Emily made a bad joke. <laughs> so, oh, well, somehow I'm recording and I'm not supposed to. So here we are in Wiz Beach, drinking coffee with Emma. Do you mind shutting your window? Oh my god. Something else now. I did ask like three times. The wind, your door, I said. Mondays, the worst. It's that last to be hired, first to be fired, back of the bus feeling. 